Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool. In this video we're going to have a look at the knife tool. So I'm going to start this pretty simply and then get more complex as we go through. So if you think you know the knife tool pretty well, feel free to skip close to the end and we'll see if I cover anything that you weren't already aware of. So at the very basic level, to get into the knife tool, we just need to tab into any form of edit mode. I'm going to go for face mode and then we press K. Alternatively, if you've got machine tools, and you go into vertex mode and nothing is selected. If you hit two, you'll also go into knife mode, which is quite nice because it saves you moving your hand across the keyboard. The other way you can do that, if I escape out of that, is in the T panel, where it's probably somewhere, I'm gonna be honest, I never ever use this thing because it just takes so much longer. Uh, there we go, knife tool is there. Anyway, so what does the knife tool do? If I go into side view, effectively you just click, drag across, click again, and then it's gonna start drawing another knife from the place where you finished. So we could go, for example, here as well. And then as soon as you hit enter, then you've cut your faces along those points. Alternatively, instead of pressing enter, you can hit the space bar. Again, a bit easier with where your hand and thumb typically rests. There are also some nice tricks. For example, if I'm clicking there and I want to start a new cut, if I double click, then that's gonna allow me to go somewhere else and it doesn't continue on from that last place. So for example, I could then do one here, and then, for example, here again. Whereas if you just click once, it continues from that point. If you ever press escape at any point, it's going to cancel all of the previous cuts. Next up, cutting is done from the view. So for example, if I cut there, it's gonna cut through that space, and it's going to have confirmed that, but it's only gonna cut through the faces that we can see. Alternatively, if you click and then press C, it's going to create a cut through. You can now see that there is a cut point marks in green that shows the back edge as well. And if I click that and then space, you'll notice it cuts through the entirety of the object, which is very useful if I wanted to bisect this. For example, I can click, press C, click, space, and then we can see that it's gone all the way through. We can also control the direction of the cut. For example, if I click here, I could press something like X, to then confine this to the X axis, or I could Z to the Z axis. This is really useful in combination. So for example, click X and then C to cut through, click, and then we know that this is perfectly parallel. Though you'd probably do a loop cut in this instance of a simple box, but for other shapes, this is really key. I should also point out that if you've got the knife tool on, say you're in vertex mode, if you click relatively close to that vertex, it will start on that vertex and then the vertex you're closest to as well. That's the relatively simple things done. Let's get a little bit more complex. So the other tool that's very useful as opposed to just using X, Y, and Z is that if you hit A, this is gonna lock your knife tool, but it is locked at 30 degree increments. So you can go 30 degrees, 60 degrees, or 90 degrees. So that A tool is pretty nice to allow you to be more precise. Now, the other thing that I can do with this, if I go to edit preferences, is we don't have to keep this at 30 degrees. For example, if I go to key map and then type in knife, I can change my knife tool, you notice it's at 30 degrees there, to let's say 15. Now, if I then save these preferences and come back into this, this, if I click A, is not gonna have worked. The reason for that is I'm currently on the knife tool, not using the knife shortcut. So if I come off of this, press K and then click, and then A, you'll notice I've now gained those 15 degrees. So that's an option as well, so you can change it that way, but that will only work when pressing the K button to use the knife shortcut, not the knife tool in the T panel. The other thing that's worth mentioning about the A tool is, let's see if I just go here and then click and then A, is that you'll notice in the bottom here, it tells you what your angle is at. So at the moment it's automatically a 15. Now in a difference to pretty much every single other tool in Blender, if I type in something, let's say 10, you'll notice that changes to 10, but the angle hasn't automatically flipped to 10 degrees. For example, if I was to type when rotating, instead it's changed the snapping to 10 degrees. So for example, I could go there and then click and it's done it. Now, once you've done this, if I then press K to use the knife tool again, you'll notice it's gone straight back to that 15 degrees. So this hasn't changed the preset. It's only changed what you're doing for that angle. So I could come in A and then type in 30. And again, this is only gonna work for that one cut. The final thing, and I actually only realized this because I was looking at this bottom instruction panels as I was making this video, is that if you hold down shift when you go to an edge, it will automatically lock your knife to the midpoint, which is really nice for, say, if you want to cut off certain corners. 
Also note that if you use this as part of one of your other functions, the other thing that's worth noting with this is if I do that again, while you can press control and click, you don't have to lock it to this middle point. If you go further, you'll notice there's a slight green outline of where the point is gonna be. And if I click, you'll notice that that has confirmed it in that middle point. You'll also note, because we can't use the double click when doing this, if I right click, that will also allow me to start a new cut. And then I can say, for example, bisect those perfectly in half. So despite the apparent simplicity of the knife tool, there's actually quite a lot of tricks that you can do with it. So did you know all of those tricks? And maybe are there any tricks that I haven't actually covered here? If there are, do feel free to add them in the comments section to share them with the community. I always love to hear about new things and have a great day.